Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, oh, everybody. Lista, Lily. Teacher, Lily. Good evening. Ha, ha, ha. Chistosito. Okay. Hello. Good evening, everybody. It's nice to see you. One more time. My pleasure. Welcome, welcome to this English for work. It's nice to have you. Give me a minute. I need to set up my computer so we can start working with this one. Okay, here we go. Do you hear me nice and clear? I won't. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes. Yes. No? yes. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Thank you so much, Cesar. Do you have a question, Cesar? Teacher, fíjese que yo eh, tengo problemas con el router de mi casa, el internet. Estoy conectado en el teléfono, por eso no voy a conectar la cámara. No sé si me va a alcanzar o voy a llegar a terminar la clase. No sé realmente. Ahorita no sé cuánto de datos tengo, así que. Me iba a salir ahí, me disculpa. Oh, thank you so much for letting me know. No problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's nice to meet you, people. Hello. So you basically, as far as I can see, you are in... Intermediate module number two. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're gonna wait a couple of minutes for your classmates today to join us. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Welcome. How are you today? Oh, we have this is intermediate module number two. Unbelievable. So that means that you're like in the middle of this process, which is learning English, right? The hard process is difficult. Good evening. Good evening. The motion is nice to have you. Welcome, 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 people. Okay, let's begin. I'm gonna give you like a short introduction about what is this thing going to be about, and then we will like practice. Uh, we will practice um, what is the content for today. You got it? If you don't hear my audio or if you feel like interference, let me know in time, okay? Um, let's begin. I'm Lázaro Colombo. Um, just a little bit of my background. What I do, I, I teach in a school, it's called Colegio Garcia Flamenco. And also I've been working like as an um, instructor, English for work since 2018. In places, right? Like Centro de Formación Profesional 3, y pues este que es el corporativo Regal International. Okay, back in the days when I was really young, I used to work in a call center. Okay, so uh, it's my pleasure to be here with you, and I hope that we can learn as much as possible. Okay, uh, just the quick things about the tareas and the evaluations. See, you need to be like um, 80 percent, right? Tareas y evaluations para poder completar el curso. Usted ya sabe cómo trabaja la plataforma, usted ya tiene experiencia, cómo va pues cada uno de los módulos, el horario que tenemos, pues yo opino, es de lunes a jueves de 9 a 10 pm. Ya, las tareas las vamos a en la plataforma, entonces usted va avanzando, right? 
him a su manera. Some of you work, some of you don't. Well, you can like do it uh, as you have. Entonces, usted lo va haciendo a su manera, siempre tomando en cuenta pues, las fechas, las tareas y sistemas que tienen que estar completos uh, antes de cada día, antes de cada semana. Yeah. Entonces, usted va organizando su primer time y pues, pues va trabajando en la plataforma. El material de apoyo, pues este yo se lo voy a compartir ya sea en el chat de WhatsApp, as you may know, or maybe, maybe here when you work in class, that you can show that material. Y les digo, okay, let's finish this thing so we can work together. That, that's one way. Uh, luego tenemos algunas normas de convivencia, tanto para el chat como para las de las clases en Zoom. Okay. Siempre con el botón silencio. Hay uh, la lista de asistencia que la voy a tomar dos veces, pedido para tomar dos veces. Sería pues, de la clase y luego a ti en la de clase. Yeah. Uh, las cámaras encendidas. ¿sí? Por favor, mantener las cámaras encendidas desde el principio hasta el final de la clase. Siempre con su nombre completo según el grupo. Configure su Zoom a que aparezca pues sus dos nombres, sus dos apellidos. Si pues solo tiene uno, pues I'm, I'm sorry for you. Just, just write it the way you have it in your uh, do. Okay. Uh, participación activa. Si le pide participar, hágalo. Pues como estaba, solo tenemos una hora para practice, right? Y um, pues es de aprovechar. Para que le pida participación, trate de hacerlo. Uh, no importa si se equivoca. Cecilia, ¿tiene pregunta? Yes, Buenas noches. Perdón. Oh, que tengo dos, dos Cecilia, I'm sorry. <laughs> Romero, perdón, I apologize. Ok. I'm sorry, teacher. Este, fíjense que escucho un poco entrecortado. No sé si solamente soy yo, pero las palabras se las yo escucho también. Y Eso es lo que le, le quería decir, okay. que se escucha cortado y se oye muy lejos. Sí, teacher. Cher, disculpe, Suena buenas un noches. Poco suave. Ten, con yeah. mucha interferencia, como que estuviéramos con un radio viejo. Como estoy en, du en Dubai, como que estoy en Dubai, quizás. Ok. Ok, probably, man. Estoy aquí, ya listo para ver el mundial. Ok, ¿quién es Amela? Se me imaginó. ¿You are in Qatar? That's better. Mm -hmm. No? Yes, that's yes. better. Yes, para asegurar un buen puesto. No, oh, sí, no, es que estaba platicando con Messi, entonces uh, quizás esa era la interferencia. Ok, I'm sorry for that. Ok. Hoy se escucha mejor. Thank you so much for letting Thank me you, know. Okay. My pleasure, anytime. Ok, anytime, I'm sorry. Let's continue. Ok. On this one, we have el botón silencio, como les comentaba, right? Se ingresa siempre con el botón silencio, la lista de asistencia, que la voy a tomar pues dos veces, al principio y al final de la clase. Um, luego tenemos el nombre completo, como aparece en el DUI, ¿sí? Configúrelo ahí. Si usted fija por el mío, el mío todavía no lo he configurado. Ahí aparece mi, un correo electrónico, ¿okay? Ahorita lo voy a configurar. Entonces viene usted y lo configura, ¿verdad? Y pues para que aparezca su nombre completo según el DUI, ¿okay? Las cámaras encendidas, please, desde el principio hasta el final de la clase. ¿Ok? Thank you so much. Participación activa, en esto les comentaba, ¿verdad? Tenemos solo 60 minutos per class. Entonces, pedirles pues su participación, ¿verdad? Participe lo más que pueda. Trate de pues hacerlo. No importa si se equivoca, no importa si no entiende nada. Entonces, usted haga siempre. That's the way we learn this thing, by confidence. ¿Cómo aprendemos la confianza? Diciendo. Ustedes están aprendiendo. Entonces, todo lo que usted hace aporta. Va a haber días igual en los que usted va a decir que no aprendió nada. O va a haber días en los que yo le enseño algo y usted va a decir, ay, este, no entendí nada. But that's, that's not the problem, ¿ok? No se preocupe. Es parte del proceso que usted tiene. ¿Sí? Es parte del aprendizaje. So, aunque usted sienta que no está aprendiendo, but yes, you're doing it. You're doing it, ¿ok? Uso correcto del chat, ¿verdad? Tenemos el chat tanto de Zoom como el de WhatsApp. Sí, uh, pedirle que, pues, que lo haga pues, acorde a lo específico. You know what I mean? Vaya al punto, 
solo a, a lo de la clase. ¿Ya? That's fantastic. A levantar la mano, así como lo hizo um, Cecilia, ¿verdad? Así como lo hizo Cecilia Romero eh, y también Cecilia Pérez y also um, Aleli. Aleli, right? That's the way you did it. Very good. ¿Ok? Um, igual, siempre mantener el respeto. ¿verdad? Siempre mantener respeto con los compañeros. Ya puede que ya conozca a algunos o puede que no los conozca. Pero igual, ¿verdad? siempre mantener el respeto adecuado, tanto en las participaciones como en los comentarios que se hagan. Igual, usted ha, pues, ha recibido cursos con, con inglés, inglés corporativo. Entonces, usted ya sabe pues, cómo se trabaja. You know what I mean? So, you know how this thing goes. Um, luego tenemos un poco de detalles acerca de, pues, del curso. Asistencia a través del 80%. Avance del desarrollo en la plataforma. Um, el horario establecido de 8 a, perdón, de 9 a 10. Um, la cámara encendida. Y la clase, pues, de 60 minutos. Luego los trabajos de ejercicios en las plataformas. Y, pues, al final, pues, usted va a estar pulsando. Pues, obteniendo su diploma de participación de este módulo. Right? Uh, vamos a tener un poco acerca de las tareas. Igual, siempre vamos. Sección 1 y 2, la primera semana. 2 y un midterm en la tercera, en la segunda semana. Tenemos la sección 3 y el midterm. En la tercera tenemos el cuarta sección y pues vamos a comenzar con la sección 5 en la semana número 4 y tenemos un final exam. Usted sabe que en la plataforma pues hay diferente material que usted va a ir trabajando en casa, right? Or when you have your free time because some of you work and some of you don't. So it's going to be hard for some of you. That means that I really appreciate your work on this one, right? Esto de aprender inglés es pretty, pretty much amazing, pero es un poquito pues, es complicado en algunos casos porque al final el aprendizaje depende de usted. ¿Y you no know I mean? El aprendizaje depende de cada uno de ustedes. ¿Sí? Uh, yo les voy a estar apoyando, guiando con el material para que practiquemos, para que lo resolvamos together. Pero at the end, it, it's up to you. ¿You know what I mean? La practice va, va with, with you. Yeah. So that means, ¿cuál es el objetivo de usted? Learn English. ¿Cuándo lo va a hacer? Pues depende de usted. ¿Cómo lo va a hacer? Depende de usted. Right? So, uh, you can do it. Yeah? Everybody can do it. But we need to be like, we need to have like discipline. You know what I mean? Discipline. Learn, like practice your English as much as possible. Five minutes, ten minutes. You have like 60 minutes today in class. Right? Which is pretty much amazing. So you can practice as, as much as possible. Okay, uh, I don't know if you have a question about this thing. Before we begin with the uh, content, do you have a question? If you have a question, raise your hand so you can let me know anytime. No, teacher. No, no thank you. Is oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Just give me a minute. So let's put the material. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we have intermediate module no, module number two. Um, okay. Give me a minute. Okay. Here we go. Voy a tomar la asistencia del día de hoy. So when you hear your name, let me know. Okay. Let me know. Igual, si hablo mucho inglés, porque a veces se me olvida. Y a veces hablo mucho inglés. Entonces, um, if, if by any chance es, es mucho, o no entienden algo de lo que estoy diciendo, me avisan. Please. Con confianza. Levante la mano y diga mi profe. O Mr. Palomo. No entiendo esa parte. O what is the meaning of that? Let me know anytime. Okay. Let's begin. Aleli. Present teacher. ¿Estoy pronunciando bien su nombre? Es Aleli. Oh, I'm sorry. Aleli. Thank you so okay. much. Ana Cecilia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Oh my gosh, look at that's fantastic. Your classmate, she got the same name. Yes. Ana Cecilia Romero. <laughs> oh, right? Present oh. teacher. Welcome, my pleasure. Ana Yanira Mendoza. 
present and teacher. I'm Thank here. You so much. Bridget. Oh, I love your name, Bridget. Thanks, teacher present. That's fantastic. Amazing. Oh, Carmen Guadalupe. Uh, present teacher. Good evening, welcome. Cesar Alexander Ramirez. I am here, teacher. My pleasure, Cesar, welcome. Edith Araceli Guzman. Edith. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Edith. Welcome. Uh, Eduardo Alexander. Eduardo? No? Okay. What about Elvis? Present teacher. Oh, that's you, Eduardo? Yes. Thank you, thank you. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, Elvis, thank you, Elvis. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Emerson. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Stephanie, Jamilet. What is it, Stephanie? I'm here. Thank you. Then we have Fatima, Esmeralda. Hello, Fatima. Good evening. No? Okay, okay. What about Jaime, Roberto? Are you here? Here I am. My here pleasure. I am, teacher. Nice to meet you. Me too. Nice to meet you too. Oh, Edevin. Jose? Present teacher. How was the pronunciation of your second name? Edevin. Oh, Edevin. Oh, that's amazing. I love your name, it's fantastic. Look at that. Thank Karen. you. Suleyma, Karen. Present. Thank you, Karen. Laura, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Present, teacher. Welcome, it's nice to have you, my pleasure. Melvin. Hello, Melvin. Good, good. Well, he's not here, Melvin, he's not here. Uh, Miguel Angel. Hello, Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel? No? Okay. What about Fuentes? That's Morena, Guadalupe. Aquí estoy presente, teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Oscar. Oscar. Thank you. My pleasure, Oscar. Raquel, hello. Good evening. Good evening, Raquel. Are you here? Yes? No? Okay, okay. Let's continue with the other one. Santiago. Antonio. Present teacher. My pleasure, Santiago. Good evening. Nice to meet you, teacher. Vilma Gladys. Hello, hello, Vilma. Are you here, Vilma? 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 Está por aquí? No? En el grupo acaba de poner. She's que, typing sí. on the chat group that oh, she couldn't uh, be here with us. Oh, she's here. Oh, but she's like, oh, okay. No, no, in the WhatsApp group, she couldn't get in. Oh, oh, uh, I got it. Thank you so much for letting me know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. okay let me see. Okay, do we have a question before we begin with this class? Do you have a question, Cecilia de Perez? Do you have a question? No, teacher. No? Okay, okay, you sure? Mm -hmm. Sure, okay. Don't forget your cameras must be on from the beginning till the end. Okay, I'm sorry, but those, those are the their rules. Okay, let's begin with this one. Okay, let me check. Here we have. Let's take advantage of this side that we have today. We're gonna have this objective here. Thank you so much. Oh my god, oh, come on, come on. Are you the man? Jose, please. I'll let it so it's like an objective, please. Thank you. Jose Enriquez. Ah, okay. Uh, in this 
In this lesson, participants will listen and practice a conversation between families, family members. Exactly. So we're going to take a look into family members. Okay. I know family members, right? It's something really much very good. We have this expression, which is turn down the TV. What is Santiago? Hello, Santiago. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. What do you do for a living, Santiago? Well, what, what do you do for a living? What is your occupation or profession? Well, teacher, I'm supervisor. Oh, that's fantastic, right? Thank you. So pretty much you're the boss. Oh, very good. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not really, do you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So usted es el que da los day off, right? Oh, okay, I got it. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, let me see. Melvin, do you have a question? Melvin. Uh, teacher, sorry, creo que no me mencionó. Oh, me, me, Marvin, right? Yes. I'm sorry. Excuse me, people. Give me a minute. I apologize. Let me see. Um, it's Mervin. Sí, Mervin, lo mencioné. Okay. Ahorita le tomo asistencia, no se preocupe. Thank you so much. Very good. Así como lo hizo él, ¿se fijaron? No, but everything has a solution, right? The only thing you need to do is speak. Thank you so much. Okay, I was working with Santiago. Okay, Santiago. Espérame que esta cosa. Do you understand what is the meaning of turn up, down the TV? Yes. What is that? Pagar la tele. But yeah, when do we use this expression? Can you give me an example? Turn down. Turn down TV. When when do you when do we use this expression? Um, <laughs> well, I when I finish. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, like, like in which scenarios do we use this expression? Well, in my in my area, I mean, at home. Let's say, when do you use this expression? Turn down the TV. Cuando tenemos castigado a la persona que está viendo televisión. Exactly right. It's like uh, when you're at home watching some things, right? or for example, if you have children at home and they like, if you have children, I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry. For you. They, they watch Popo Yo and they watch La Granja de Senón and they watch a bunch of videos, right? And what you do, what you do, you put that, that, turn down the TV. Turn down the TV. That's why you tell them, right? When you're like sick of watching La Granja de Senón, when you're sick of watching, I don't know, um, bling, different. Bling. Exactly. You say, turn down the TV. Aleli, Aleli, I'm sorry. Aleli, do you understand this expression? Yes, teacher. I'm sorry. I think. Oh, you're sick? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I am COVID. I am COVID. Oh my gosh, that's not good. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, Aleli. Oh, that, I'm sorry, okay. Aleli. I'm sorry okay. to hear you. I it. have the much fever. Uh, oh my the gosh. flu. That's so, not good. You have, I am uh, present, okay? Oh, that's, I really appreciate that. That's pretty really okay. much fantastic. Um, man, it's like you're doing this thing, even though you're sick. Oh my gosh, that's. I'm sorry for interrupting you. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay. Let's, let's watch this video. Uh, Laura, Michelle. Peter, what is the different difference between turn down, turn off? Oh, oh okay. Very good. Turn down. Yo, teacher, porque, perdón, perdón si lo interrumpo. Porque usted dijo turn down es como que apagar la televisión. Y en el video parece como que bájale un poco porque está muy alto. Exactly, exactly. What is turn off? Turn off is when you like apaga, right? Okay. Turn off. El off with O double F, that means off. You know what I mean? Um, que lo apaga, right? And turn down is like. Sigue viendo, but turn it down, turn it down. 
Very good, Laura. Great question. Let's listen and watch. Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? What is this conversation about? Mm -hmm. Let's ask Elvis. Thank you, Elvis. What is this conversation about, please? What? Please repeat. Oh, what is what is this conversation about? Uh, this conversation is um, at home. It's about uh, um, the things uh, of family, TV, um, uh, things uh, on the floor. That's it. Elvis, do, do this thing happen at home? Do, do this thing happen at home? Perdón? I mean, is is this situation happen happening at home? Like yeah. In, in, yeah. Have have you ever experienced one of these things at home? Yes. Um, okay. Every day. <laughs> Every day. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So in this lesson, as you may know, we have phrase verbs. Phrase verbs are like phrases with with meaning, right? Vamos in this conversation, vamos a seleccionar los phrase servers that we have in this one, okay? Yes. Um, si quiere participar, levanta la mano y me avisa. Let me know, okay? Vamos a seleccionar cuáles son los phrase servers que tenemos in this conversation, okay? Yep. Let's begin with you, Jaime. ¿Dónde está un phrase server? Please, let me know. Yeah. Uh, Hang up in the all right, but do it uh, soon as you hang up. Okay, let me see. Hang up. What, what is that thing? I don't, I don't find it. Mr. Phil, all right, um, but yeah. do it. Oh, number oh. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. Number eleven. Uh, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay. Hang up. hang up. Hang up. Very good. Okay. That's one. Or but do it as soon as you hang up. No problem. Okay. Very good. Now, um, what is another phrase Albert, that we have in this conversation? Turn down. Turn down. Turn down. Very good. Here we have one of this one. Thank Thank you. Up, teacher. Pick up. Hey, what is that thing? Let me see. Oh, pick up. Very good. Mm -hmm. What is another one? What is another one? Here we have it again. Is it turn it? As soon as. As soon as. Mm -hmm. 
No. No, but that's that's another no, expression. The that's see, that's yes. another expression now. Very good. But here we have turned it down. Look at this one. We have it here. We have turned down the TV. Y luego tenemos turning it down. Okay, just just be careful the way it is. Same meaning, but we have it in the middle. Ya no lo tenemos at the end. We have it in the middle. Okay, very good. We're gonna have some practice. Okay, we have Mr. Field, Jason, uh, we have Lisa, Bia. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have Laura, you are going to be Mr. Field, Jaime, you are Jason, and you, Jose, you are Lisa. Ready? Let's begin. Ready, teacher. Ready. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very low. Okay, I'll turn down it. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, mom, I'm on the phone. All right but do it as soon as your hand, hand up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely, de, 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 definitely. Thank you. Definitely. 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 Yeah, and also I did a mistake because like, we have Mr. Phil and we have Mrs. as well. I apologize. Okay, thank you so much. Then we have you, Morena Guadalupe. It's nice to meet you. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. How about um, you? Well, I'm, I'm definitely like 100% good. Thank you so much for asking. Do me a okay. favor. You are going to be Mrs. and also Mr. Phil, okay? Okay. That's wonderful. Um, Bridget, you are going to be Jason Bridget. And okay, teacher. Marvin, you are Lisa. Ready? Let's begin. Yes, I read. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, uh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, to turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They are all over the floor. That's you, Marvin. Sorry, no, you're connected with the microphone. That's okay. In a minute, in a minute, Vaughn, I on the phone. All right, but uh, it at a song as you hand up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, where will I this when we were kids? Definitely. 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 Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. We have Bridget favorite. Favorite. Very good, Bridget. Very good. Okay, uh, Eduardo, Alexander, you are going to be Mr. Field and also Mrs. Field. Karen, um, Suleima, you are going to be Jason. And you, Edith Araceli, you are going to be Lisa. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, that is my favorite program. I know, but it's very long. Okay, I'll turn it down. Uh, that's better, thanks. Um, Lisa, please pick up your, your scene. Uh, they're all over the floor. In a minute, mom, I am on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as, as you hang, 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 hang up. 
Okay, no problem. Goodness, where we like this when we were were kids is def definitely, 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 definitely. Very good. Great job, everybody. Uh, Cecilia de Perez, you are going to be Mrs. 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 Theo. Uh, Mr. Theo is going to be Miguel Angel. Santiago, you are going to be Jason. And Lisa, that is you, Emerson. Ready? Let's begin. <laughs> Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very low. Okay, I'll turn it down. That very intense. Lisa, please pick up your thing. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, where we lie this when we were kids. Definitely. And definitely, very good. Thank you so much. We have definitely, that's the expression in this one. Okay. Sure. What's the meaning of definitely? Definitely. It's like, definitely. Um, it's like bastante españolizada, definitivamente. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like 100% agree with somebody. Okay. Thank you so much for participating. Okay. If you notice here in this picture, right? Question for you. Let me see. Uh -huh. Let me see. Let me see. Edith. Do you see this picture here? Edith, ves la picture que está aquí? Do you see this picture? Yes. Okay, descríbeme la picture, please. Thank you so much. Describe the picture. Uh, describe the picture. Uh, how, how many people do we have in this picture? One, two, three, or four. How many people? How many people do do you do we see in this picture? One, two, three, or four? Four people. Four people. Okay. Who is who is on the phone? Edith. Who is on the phone? Is the boy Lisa. on Lisa, right? The girl is on the phone. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is uh, what is the boy doing, Edith? Can you repeat. What is the boy? What is the boy doing? Jason. Uh huh. Jason. What is Jason doing? Watch the TV. Watching TV. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much, Marvin. Thank you, Edith. Marvin? Marvin, question for you. Um, where are they? In which part of the house are they? Living room. In the living room. Pretty much. Thank you so much. Good job. Kids. Definitely. Okay. Sorry. Let me delete this thing so you can see it better. Give me a minute. Okay. Here we go. Let's continue with this one. We're going to have more practice on this one. Okay. What are you going to do? This is two part verbs to make requests. Let's listen and watch. TV. Turn the TV down. Sorry. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two part verbs. 
will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know that two-part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two-part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Oopsie. Give me a minute. So I did a mistake on this one. No, 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 no. Stop it. Okay. Let's see, it's one. Okay. Let's take a look at this thing, which is called related to phrase over how this thing works. Okay, so we have nouns, we have pronouns, and we have the re responses or requests, right, that we have. Here we have with nouns. If you notice, when we have a noun, tenemos dos opciones, right? Una es ponerlo al principio y otra es ponerlo at the end, like in the examples here, yeah? Just this figure here, we have with nouns, nouns. Tenemos el noun. ¿Qué es un noun? Objects, everything. Everything is a noun, right? Objects. So, turn down the TV. That is one example. O podemos decir, in the middle, turn down, turn the TV down. So, here we have it in the middle. Tenemos aquí al final, y luego lo tenemos en medio, if we want to do it. So, entonces lo dividimos, right? Ponemos en medio, if we want to. We have pick up your things. Pick up your things. O podemos poner esto en medio y dividimos estas dos frases. El verbo con el particle. Pick your things up. Means the same. However, it's a different structure. Yeah? So you can use both of them. ¿Con cuál se queda usted? Pues con la que es más cómoda para usted, right? The ones that is easy for you. However, so don't forget que también se puede de diferentes maneras, right? Una es que lo ponemos al final y la otra es que lo ponemos en medio de las dos um, words, ¿ya? Yeah? Luego tenemos una with pronouns. Cuando es with pronouns, ahí siempre va a ir en medio. Ahí sí no podemos moverlo, ¿ok? So, por eso decimos turn it down, pick the up, pick the up. Cuando es un pronoun, ahí sí ya no lo podemos mover. Y luego tenemos las típicas responses, right? Like, okay, I'll turn it down. Okay, I'll pick them up. ¿Por qué utilizamos el future aquí? ¿Se acuerdan del future, Elvis? ¿Se acuerdan del future? 
Yes, teacher. Right. So, utilizamos el future cuando, Elvis. Thank you. Cuando vamos a hacer algo. Mm -hmm. In the future, right? Exactly. Which is unpredictable. Which means unpredictable is 50 and 50, right? If you have children, you know this one, right? ¿Cuántas veces le he dicho a su hijo o a su hija? Please, clean your room. Sí, ya voy. Exactly, right? So that's why they use future. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. And at the end, right, Emerson? They don't do it. They don't. <laughs> you come back again and you say, again, please do it. Do it, right? So that's why we use future. The future is, is quite simple. También, por ejemplo, cuando estamos bien enamorados, right? We are so in love. Y nos enamoramos y nos prometemos, oh, I will love you forever, right? That's why we use will with future, with, with love, because it's something unpredictable, right? Maybe if something happens like that, it's amazing. Pero por eso utilizamos I will love you because it's like unpredictable. Okay, let's continue on this one. Respond, turn it down. Pick them up. Verbs. These types of verbs are made up of... Okay, so aquí tenemos la combination, right? We have a particle of y we have a verb. Vamos siempre a utilizar un verbo y luego un particle. ¿Qué es un particle? Puede ser una preposición. ¿Ya? Yeah. Entonces, ahí la podemos utilizar. Si usted se fija, el verbo put is to place, right? ¿Ya? Yeah. Put is like to place something. Right. right. And then, pero si le agregamos el off, that means to postpone, right? Put off. And then we say put off. Put off. That means to postpone. So, vamos cambiando el significado. Yes, a esta cosa. Yeah. That's the way we go. Uh, let me see. Okay, here we go. Here we have another example. Este es lo que le decía. Con nouns, podemos ponerlo, ya sea, like. If we have, we can write the thing, like, in the middle, walk. And then we have up. And the, in the middle, we can have the noun. Yes. And here we can write it at the end. So here we have like the, the phrase verb. And here we can have the noun. Yeah. So we can use both of them in this part. Yeah. Which one you will use? El que más usted le convenga, right? Hay uno que más fácil. Another one that is somehow difficult to do, right? So in order to, that if you don't want to get confused, go with, with the easiest one. Yeah. Um, questions hasta acá? Any questions? Excuse me, teacher. I have one question. Yeah. When when we use two part verbs to to risk, when we use in future using will, we can put uh, in the middle and also put uh, at final the when, word. When when is that? When you're talking about future, you're talking. For example, I I'll turn it I'll turn it down. Uh, maybe we can use I'll turn down the TV. Oh, ese, ese sería, uh, the TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll turn yeah. I'll turn the TV down, and we can use also uh, I'll turn down the TV. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you, you can use both of them. You can use okay, thank you. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, you can use both of them according to the to the grammar structure, right? That's why I insist. At the end, you pick up what is the best option for you. You know what I mean? Which one is easier for you when you communicate? Yeah, but you can use like the way you did it, Jaime. That was very good, by the way. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Let me show you the next examples in here. Okay. I didn't delete this one. Amendment, and I'm sorry. Okay, and here we have two perverse with pronouns. So here we have the pronoun, right? We have the pronoun here. Uh, we have the pronoun here. And we have the pronoun here. So the thing is like, here we have the verb, and here we have the particle. Here we have the verb, 
and here we have the particle. Here we have the verb, and here we have the particle. So we can use it like this one. When we have a pronoun, we need to use it in the middle. Okay? Call her back, pick him up, put in it up. Let's see. Questions about this one? No? Emerson, thank you. Sure, yo tengo una pregunta. Where's the difference in between um, uh, the put away and take out? Can you listen? I'm sorry, excuse me. Can you repeat that, please? Where's the difference in between um, put away and and take take out and take out out well it's like pretty much like like the context you know what i mean it's like out is pretty much when you have it inside something and then you put it out you know what i mean es que en el ejercicio que aparece bueno después del video este mm -hmm. aparece una de sacar la basura pero con el pulse away y el otro de sacar al perro pero con el take out, entonces no, no veo la diferencia. Oh, we will see that, we will see that, we will see that in a few minutes, okay? We will see that, okay? I will explain you that when we get into the exercise, okay, Emerson? Cuando lleguemos al exercise, okay? Okay. Perfect, thank you so much. Okay, questions about this, how this thing works? Stephanie? Uh, I have that, and we can use all phrases, verbs, and in these ways, for example, at the start, in the middle, and at the end. So all phrases verse, we're going to use it in uh, with most of them. With most of them, Stephanie, we're gonna use this structure. Okay. There is always some like some irregulars, as you may know, right? But with most of them, this is the same structure with all of them. Okay, here in this module, you will see a few phrases of it because we have a lot of them, like. Yes, I know. A, a, a lot of them, but here we're gonna just take a look of the basic ones, okay? Oh, okay. So it depends uh, if verbs are regular or irregular. Oh, that's with pronunciation. You know what I mean? That, that's with pronunciation. Like, no, I'm talking about like, uh, hay algunos que son irregulares. O sea, entonces. Los vamos a ver en el, en, el, en el future, right? In future modules, how this thing works. Hasta ahorita, at this moment, just is the way it goes. You know what I mean? We just have like a particle in a verb. A particle in a verb. El verbo puede ser regular o irregular. Yeah. And we have like, we can write like nouns, we can write it at the end, or we can write it in the middle. Or if we have like an, um, a pronoun, goes in the middle with this one. Like, oh, oh okay, oh, man, what's going on? This thing. Okay. Like in the following exercise that we have here. Este exercise que está aquí es el que me está hablando, Emerson. Okay. Which is, we have this, these verbs, this, this like vocabulary here. And here we have some, some verbs, some phrasal verbs, right? Si ustedes se fijan, tienen un blank space. Unos están at the end y otros están in the middle. Entonces partimos el verb y el particle, right? Y en middle, in the middle, va algo. Yes? En este exercise vamos a trabajar en eso. However, tengo que tomar la asistencia right now. I'm sorry. Uh, because it's like the, the end of the class. I need to take the attendance. So uh, when you hear your name, please say, present or I'm here. Okay, let me see. Um, Aleli, you're here, right? You told me. Very good. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, Ana Cecilia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Ana Cecilia Romero de Dominguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Yanira Mendoza. Here teacher. Thank you. Bridget Lisset Erazo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe. Present teacher. Alexander Ramirez. 
Present teacher. Edith Araceli Guzman. Present teacher. Eduardo Alexander Najarro. Present teacher. Um, Elvis. Present teacher. Thank you, Elvis. Emerson. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Stephanie. Here, teacher. Thank you. Fatima Esmeralda Asensi. Present teacher. Thank you, Fatima. Jaime Roberto Bandana. I'm here, teacher. Eh, Jose Areibin. Here, teacher. Thank you. I think I mispronounced your name. Sorry. Karen. Michelle Arce. Present, Karen. teacher. Thank you so much. Laura. Oh, I think I think me, I miss you. Oh, yeah. It's like Karen Suleima. I'm sorry, Karen. Laura Present. Michelle. Laura Michelle. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Laura Michelle. And Karen Suleima. Present. Thank you. Marvin. Present teacher. Miguel Angel Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Morena Guadalupe. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Raquel. Hello, hello. I'm here. I'm Thank here, you teacher. Thank you so much. Raquel, um, Santiago Antonio. I'm here, teacher. And Bill Maglaris. Bill Maglaris. Bill Maglaris, are you here? Check, let me check. Oh, okay. Let's keep, keep working with this exercise. The exercise that your classmate Emerson was talking about. Here we have this one. Okay. We have pick cup, please. We have the books, the toys, the radio, your jacket, the TV, your boots, boots, the yard, the light, the trash, and the dog. So we have this vocabulary. Which one is with number one, Stephanie? Which one is with number one, Stephanie? Hello, hello. Sorry, can I repeat? Which one is with number one? Uh, the boots. Okay. Books. Or boots? Um, pick out boots. Okay, can you spell it, please? Uh, B O O K S. Okay. B O O K S. Yes, Stephanie? Pick up the books, please. Okay, turn up. Oh, then we have turn and then off, please. What is the option here, Morena? Thank you. And turn to the TV off, please. Okay, TV. Let's check. Okay, clean. Please, clean up, please. Elvis, what is the option? Clean. The yard. The yard, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I have capital letters. The yard. Yeah, very good. Al always remember that we will check this in together. Uh, Jaime. Oh, I think it's time, Jaime. Okay. So, phrasal verbs. We will continue working on this content tomorrow. Okay. Try to finish this one, right? So, you can check this in really quick at home. Remember, you can work on this um, platform at your path, your free time, and we will continue working on this one tomorrow, okay? Unfortunately, the time is not enough. I'm sorry, okay? Good night, people. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you guys. Good night. Good night. See you guys. See you later. Good night. Take care. Good night, guys. Good night. Take care. Good night. Thank you.